The Walt Disney Company is a world leader in providing the finest in family entertainment to millions of people everywhere. The magic of Disney began with the dreams of one man, Walt Disney. Throughout his career, Walt Disney masterfully combined classic storytelling with pioneering innovations in entertainment. Starting with motion pictures, Walt Disney introduced the world to the first sound cartoon, the first use of color in cartoons, the first animated feature, and the first use of stereophonic sound. In the 1950s, Walt Disney was one of the first to recognize the potential of television to entertain and inform. He used this new medium to introduce a whole new concept in family entertainment, which he called Disneyland a place where children and parents could have fun together. To bring Disneyland to life, Walt created a very special organization, combining creative imagination with engineering know-how. A few years later, in 1955, Walt's Magic Kingdom opened its gates to the public. Almost overnight, Disneyland became the number one tourist attraction in Southern California. The phenomenal success of Disneyland prompted Walt Disney and his staff to create four Disneyland-style attractions for the 1964 New York World's Fair. The shows were the hit of the fair, convincing Walt that the audience for Disneyland-style entertainment was not limited to California alone. Walt Disney began to dream about a large resort complex consisting of multiple theme parks and hotels. Walt would control and master plan the entire project on 28,000 acres of wilderness land in central Florida. Walt envisioned a place where he could test out not only new ideas in entertainment, but ideas for city planning and future living as well. From its inception, Walt Disney World was master planned for the future. With state-of-the-art technologies working behind the scenes in energy conservation, waste treatment, and environmental protection, fire and security systems, and transportation. The entire Walt Disney World property was carefully designed to be tied together by a sophisticated network, including Disney-designed monorails, people movers, boats, trams, and buses. Walt Disney World opened to overwhelming public and media acclaim on October 1, 1971. And although Walt Disney never lived to see the realization of the project, he left in place an organization dedicated to fulfilling and expanding on the dreams and designs he set into motion. Today, the dream lives on at the Walt Disney Company through a diverse and interrelated series of businesses around the world motion pictures and television production, a cable TV channel, consumer products, music, publishing, educational media, sports, and of course the Disney theme parks and resorts around the world. 
the Disneyland Park in California, where over 300 million visitors have enjoyed the fun of the original Magic Kingdom. Walt Disney World in Florida has been visited by over 400 million guests. It's a complete vacation resort destination, including, of course, the Magic Kingdom theme park. In 1982, Walt's dream for Epcot Center, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow, opened to guests at Walt Disney World. A living showcase of the nations of today and a testing ground for technologies of the future, Epcot introduced an exciting new blend of entertainment and education to the public. In the shows and attractions of Future World, Visitors can see the dreams and ongoing research for tomorrow's world. A tour of the Land Pavilion offers a glimpse of pioneering techniques for growing food for our ever-growing world population. In the Living Seas Pavilion, guests can visit with creatures of the deep, gaining a new appreciation for the importance of our planet's oceans. Other pavilions highlight our imagination with continuing research in energy, health, transportation, and communications. The World Showcase Pavilions in Epcot Center celebrate the diversity of cultures and countries around the world. As guests enjoy the street performers, the authentic architecture, and the international foods of the World Showcase Pavilions. They are hosted by young people from around the world. The World Showcase Fellowship Program brings these students from their native countries to Epcot Center to work and learn together. Even after a visit to the park is complete, the Epcot Center experience continues through an educational program that reaches out to schools and teachers across the United States. In 1989, the Disney MGM Studios theme park opened its gates to Walt Disney World visitors with an inside look at the magic and excitement of the movies and television. But Walt Disney World is so much more. It's a complete vacation destination resort with unique resort hotels in an incredible variety of shapes, sizes, and themes. From wilderness campgrounds to exotic places, contemporary styles, and remembrances of days gone by. There are vacation club units and even conference and convention facilities for business meetings. And when the work is done, there are acres of recreational activities to enjoy. World-class golf courses, horseback riding, boating, and water parks, including the soon-to-be-completed Blizzard Beach. A snow-themed water park in the hot Florida sun Blizzard Beach will provide a whimsical and cooling experience for children and adults alike. In 1983, the Walt Disney Company successfully exported the magic of Disneyland to Tokyo, meeting the challenges of adapting to the culture and climate of another part of the globe. Nineteen ninety two saw the opening of our newest park outside the United States, Euro Disneyland. The theme park, resort hotels, and campgrounds that make up Euro Disney represent the first phase of this planned recreational community on the outskirts of Paris, France. Euro Disney has been carefully master planned to allow for continued expansion and development while meeting the environmental needs of nearby communities and their residents. But all of this is just the beginning. Plans are currently underway for an incredible variety of new Disney projects, including Tokyo Disney Sea, a waterfront themed park 
with entertaining and enlightening shows and attractions to be built adjacent to Tokyo Disneyland in Japan. Disney's America, to be built outside America's capital, Washington, D.C., will celebrate the struggles, the culture, the history, and the fun that makes America what it is. And in California, planning continues on the Disneyland Resort, a master-planned community of parks, hotels, and shops. The highlight of the new Disney Resort will be Westcott Center, where guests will experience firsthand the excitement of the future and the history of people and cultures from around the world. At Westcott Center, families will be able to live inside the park, staying in uniquely themed resort hotels. To bring these vast and exciting new projects to life requires the resources and talents of one of the most unique organizations in the world, the Disney Design and Development Company. Within this exceptional company reside some of the world's finest artists, writers, sculptors, show designers and producers, filmmakers, programmers for our audio animatronics figures, researchers, master planners, architects, landscapers, engineers, project managers, scientists, and many, many others, all dedicated to bringing new dreams to life. All new Disney projects begin with an idea, a vision. But before we can make that dream come true, we first undertake a careful and thorough research phase. We study the history, the culture, the people, and environment of the location of the new project. We analyze the demographics of the market, conduct financial and investment analysis, and prepare initial cost and schedule estimates. We then begin to incorporate the vision into an overall master plan, conducting preliminary engineering analysis, establishing a plan for environmental protection, and testing the feasibility of the project. As the various elements begin to take shape, we prepare architectural plans, create scale models, and identify the engineering technologies that may be required. Construction begins with the completion of the final production plans and documents. Throughout construction, on-site art direction and management ensure that the quality of the product will not be compromised. Engineers thoroughly test and adjust all mechanical systems for safety and smooth operation, working closely with the staff that will maintain these systems after opening. The operational staff is assembled and trained during final phases of construction so that they may appreciate the vision for the project and the realities of keeping the show running safely and efficiently. In addition, each employee is schooled in the history and values of the Walt Disney Company and given a specially designed costume so that they may present the proper attitudes and appearances to the public. In the world of Disney, each guest is a VIP, a very important person. But this is really just the start. Daily operations, maintenance, and ongoing quality monitoring ensure that the shows will operate safely and efficiently and entertain audiences for years to come. For more than 70 years, the Disney name has been associated with the finest in family entertainment. But as Walt Disney once said to his staff, we're just getting started. For the Walt Disney Company, the past is only the prologue to the exciting new dreams and new challenges for today and tomorrow.